Hey, what's happening, guys? It is the day after Christmas, and I'm sitting here in the living room enjoying a lovely, warm, virtual fire. That's actually my television. But uh, the reason we're sitting here in the dark is because I want to show you a couple of things. And one of them is I got an Amazon Alexa dot for Christmas. The Echo Dot allows you to talk to me in more rooms in your home. It includes a built-in speaker, but you can also connect to external speakers. Alexa, stop. I actually did not expect her to pipe up right there, so that's kind of funny. Anyway, so that's it. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.41 p.m. Ah, pretty cool. Anyway, so we're sitting here in the living room. And I want to be able to turn on and turn off different things, kind of a smart home thing. And I have one thing ready to do already, which is the sawn off that I showed you guys in an earlier video. So if we turn over here to this corner of the room, which is rather dark, there is a giant life-size cutout of Darth Vader. Alexa, turn Vader on. Oh... Yes, okay. indeed. I like that. Alexa, turn Vader off. See how okay. easy that is? Now, the next thing that I want to add is the fish tank. So, instead of getting another sawn off, what I was thinking is we would do it with something that we already have here and something that we're quite familiar with. The ESP8266. All we need is one of them, a USB uh, wall star charger, and a relay. Let's go put it all together and see how much fun we can have. All right, I've got all our parts here. We have a Wemos D1 Mini, a relay, and the 12 volt power pack for my fish tank. Now what I want to do here is to split these wires just like that. Really simple. And then once they're split I'm going to cut the 12 volt wire and then I'm going to strip it and I'm going to twist them and tin them Real easy here. Get some solder. And the soldering iron. And once that's done, I'm just going to nick off the ends. So I've only got a little over a millimeter sticking out because really that's all we need. then we're going to put them into our relay. The middle is the common. This is the normally open. This is the normally closed. So we're going to put the two wires between the normally open and the common. Doesn't matter which way they go.
so once that's done then all we have to do is hook our Wemos up to this relay I've got it set up with green at, as 5 volt and orange as ground so green is our 5 volt orange is ground and yellow is our signal and that's it for our hardware setup all we need to do now is to upload the code and we should be good to go all right guys the first step is we're going to need two libraries that is the FOMO ESP library and the ESP async TCP library once those two libraries are downloaded then we just need to install them there's a link down below where you can download them so we just go into documents Arduino libraries right there and I'm gonna re rename this without the master at the end of it I'm gonna rename whoops I'm gonna rename this one too to just FOMO ESP and just like that we will copy them into our Arduino libraries folder and that should do it next step is we need to restart the Arduino IDE to recognize the new libraries all right you guys ready for the code see how simple it is all right so we include Arduino ESP8266 Wi-Fi and FOMO ESP.H next we need to put in our Wi-Fi SSD and our Wi-Fi password then we're just setting our serial baud rate I'm setting for 115 200 here set it for whatever you want and we create an instance of FOMO ESP called FOMO next we're gonna come down here we're gonna set up our Wi-Fi our mode is going to be station mode then we are going to connect right here Wi-Fi begin using the SSID and password that we define right here after that it's going to go through this little higglemajiggle to connect and when it's done it'll print us a nice message telling us it's connected now down here in our setup we clean out the garbage and we set up our FOMO we have our pin in this case set to D2 Wi-Fi setup our FOMO we add device this gives it its name in this tank in this case it's called fish tank and we say FOMO on message go the call back we'll go back there and look at that in a minute and the only thing in the loop is FOMO dot handle now we go back here and we look at this function called callback and it's just going to print uh, device and then the device name it's going to print the state whether it's on or off and it will also turn it on or off so let's upload this code and go check it out all right I've uploaded the code not that you can see anything here but the next step we need to do is we need to load our Amazon app and we're gonna come down here to smart home we're going to add a new device I've already done it in this case it is fish tank so you can see how easy that is and now when the red light on the relay comes on the fish tank will turn on so let's give it a shot pardon me if this is a little loud my echo dot is across the room Alexa turn fish tank on okay it's on Alexa, turn fish tank off. Okay. Guys, how much easier could it possibly be than that? All right, I'm going to go install this on my fish tank, and we will take one last look at it. 
All right, guys, we're right back to where we started. I'm sitting on the couch with my virtual fire. Alexa, turn Vader on. Oh, okay. nice. Alexa, turn fish tank on. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. I love it. This is so much fun. Alexa, turn fish tank off. Okay. Alexa, turn fish tank on. Okay. Alexa, red alert. Alexa, stop. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll put a link to the code down below. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Alexa, code 000, zero, zero destruct zero. Destruct sequence is activated. 10. Uh oh. I better get out of here. I'll see you guys later.